Hi, everybody. We're back here again, and we're going to continue on with our eagle tray. Uh, here we've got uh, the, 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 the wire basket, and we've got a cover. Now, today, I want to go into a little, show you, uh, and, and let you, and explain to you the difference between a family. So, I'm going to just double click on this guy, this tray, and this is a family. Now, this is another environment totally within Rivet. You got two environments in Rivet. You've got, well, actually three or four. You got drafting views, temp, uh, legend views, and then you got uh, project uh, files, which is this over here. This is a project. Then you have the family. The family is really what's the power in Rivet, what makes everything go. Okay, so now this is a family that uh, we have created here. And the reason why they call it a family is because this would be a parent, and then the, the original one is a parent. So if I go here, this is my family types. And so the family is broken down on all these multiple types. So now here, this family parent being the ego basket, so I've split the types up into parts, numbers. So if you look at all of these different parts, so these are all of the parts, numbers that are associated with this family or this, this eagle tray. So just to show you here what I mean, if I can do this, I'm going to try to see if I can do this right quick. So right now, this is EGL624SL120. So if I change one of these guys, I might make this a this and I'll apply and then it'll adjust to that size so what happens is we build all these parameters in here and then that part number see that's the 2 SL 12120 so that's that's how that works basically so these are all the part numbers associated with that one tray eagle tray those are all the different types. And then I can add more. It, it just doesn't matter. It's endless if you get everything working properly. Now, another thing here, this is BIM. And when they, we say BIM, it's like BIM with the big I, the I for information, building information modeling. And what here, we have loads of information here. So I'm going to just set this back to anything. It doesn't really matter. But here, these are formulas and things we work to make this stuff happen but here like um, I want to go into this family and I can click here on this URL and this will take me to the um, installation page following that link so if I go in this family here if this guy ever opens so it's taking me to the link on the website on the on the yeah on the website and there's all the information built right into the family there's the installation and so what and so forth so I'll close that and then here we've got catalog URL so I'll hit that one and this will take us to the entire catalog built right into the family so um, that's what I mean BIM is they is uh, building information model, but the I is big. So there's the entire catalog built right into the family. Okay, so now I'm going to close that down for you. And then we've got more information there, the structural properties, the material. And then um, you can take this down even farther here. So we add all this information here. So then, then here we go again. Here's a, uh, another URL for the product page. Unfortunately, um, when you change the website or change the brand, this is not good because I managed to get through this one, but everything has to be redone if we want this power. So... Uh, you got to give me the heads up when we do that again because we can't do this with everything now because the website changed and we did a lot of stuff. It's probably got to be redone or we're going to have to, I don't know. So now, and then also here, um, there's other information. I can add costs here. 
I can put the cost in if I want it, but they don't want to do costs, although I do know the cost, and I may show you an example later on on how we can calculate costs. And this here should be EGL. Sorry about that. Let me make a change in that. So I have to go back and do all of this changing. Not complaining, though. Apply. And then there's uh, a link to the email address for, well, in this case, Eric. And then I'm going to go OK. So that's a family. Now I'm going to shut this guy down here and go back into my model. So now we're in our model. And here, I call it Eagle Basket, EGL6SL12. So now this, this, this parent is the Eagle Basket. So I'm going to copy this guy here. Let's bring him over here. Let's rotate this guy. So I'm going to make another size and run it this way, going this direction. So now to do that, you just basically select this guy, this family, and then we'll go over here into our, our types. And so let's say we'll make this a, a 624. Okay, now we have to change this because these are instance parameters because they just work better. Normally, in some cases, we use type. I'll explain the difference to that to, of that to you in another video. So then we'll take this guy here and we'll also take our bracket and do the same thing actually I will take this one Oops. That's that. Sorry. hey what's going on here Oh, I know what's going on. Sorry. This has to be done this way. Let's go on our 3D view. Okay. I got it. Pick new. This, these are the way we made these. they looking for faces and things. So that's basically how you have to do this. I mean, you know, if it's a bracket, we know that it's going on the face. So you can't just... I want to find that guy here. There it is. And it's right here. So I'm going to just drop him down. Okay. Is that the right size? No, that's not the right size. There you go. I'm going to move it up. So now this way of doing this is not really practical, but you can do it this way. And a lot of times people want it like this so they can get exactly what they're getting in. See, I have that tray. That, that tray. Now I'm going to go back to my power plan and fix this now. This bracket here, we can go and change this to the 24. So we go to EG. Okay, I want to go to, yep, this one here. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Well, let's get a few more in here. I don't like to keep these videos so long. Let me just move this up. Move to about right there. And I'll add another tray. You just go strain and multiple here. I'll just move that up. Now, this is the uh, other way of doing it, like how we pop these others in and they were all automatic. Well, this is the other way of doing this, which, like I said, some people tend to not like this, but it works.
and we're getting exactly what we want and we're quantifying as well. I should have just did 10 like I've been doing. Sorry, let me delete that. Let's go copy this. 10. Nope. Okay, I had this copied over it. That's what that, that does. So I'm going to just move this one 10. So I had two of them in the same spot. And now I can copy this guy again. And just leave it there for now. So now if I go into my schedule, uh, let me see here. And there you can see there's my Eagle Straits. I've got the part number here now. I have to remake this, and that's the size. There's the company and manufacturer. There's my material. There's my nominal and my uh, and my nominal height and nominal width. Because we had a little issue going on over here at one time. And I think we fixed that. Um, let's see what happened there. So there we go. Fits a little better on top of there. So hey guys, thank you for watching my video. Um, I'll pick up on some other things later on. We'll probably got the name of class next, as opposed to let me see, go back in this view here. Okay, let me do one more thing here. I hope if I have time, I want to do the cover here. So show you how the cover works now, same way. It's apparent. So I'll take this cover here, I'll copy it over here. I'll move it. So now this is a 24, so I'll just grab this guy here um, wild basket cover 24. Okay, what's happening here? Okay, all right. This is a type property, so I have to do this. I didn't want to do that with that one, but that's okay. I got to fix that one too, so I'm going to leave it there, folks. I'll just put it over here. And again, thanks for watching this video. And I'll put it there. And here, since this is a, these are instance parameters, I can just pull it over like that. So, hey guys, thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in the next video. Um, Talk to you later, and everybody be safe and have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.